inviting you all into a space of deep safety with this amazing woman right here. If you don't know her, give me a quick hug here, Dasha. I've come to know her and love her very much. She's an extraordinary facilitator. Can y'all hear me? I'm pretty yeah. loud. Okay. So, inviting you all into a deep space of safety, trust, excitement for what you're about to go through, what we're about to go through. Truly gifted, truly wise. If you see this amazing chart behind you, just a little sliver of her knowledge. It's really extraordinary. I've met a lot of facilitators, lots of healers, lots of coaches and guides with great gifts. She combines some really extraordinary tools and talents into an amazing experience. So I'm inviting you all into really deep peace, really deep trust, and just uh, hold a really beautiful vision for yourselves right now. Come into clarity with your intention for this weekend, for this moment, and step into a really extraordinary experience with Dasha Love right here. Give her a quick round of applause, huh? Woo! I love you, Dasha. Thank you. So, welcome to the world of Tantra. Tantra, in my, in my humble hallucination, is a way of being. Who is, th who is this second time with me? Second time? Oh, thank you all, yay! In my humble hallucination, it's a way of being where you accept and understand that you've existed long before this body, you'll exist long after, and learning to live a sensual life, right? Fully present every moment. Tantra is unconditional love. Tantra is healing. Tantra is presence. Tantra is seeing the child inside the adult. Tantra is asking for what you need and letting your body guide the way. Can everybody hear me good? Cool. So today I wanna to take us all on an adventure but before I do, I know some of you don't know my story. And uh, 2014, my mom got diagnosed with cancer, stage 4B cervical cancer. She was 49, 50 when she left. And I found myself sitting next to her helpless body and saying, Mom, you ruined my life. And I couldn't believe I said that. She's laying there dying with stage 4B cervical cancer. I couldn't believe I blurred these words. And suddenly what she said next changed my life. She said, my brothers abused me when I was little. My whole life, running to alcohol, drugs, waking up on couches with people I didn't even know, sex with strangers, running away. At that moment, I realized that the abuser was once the abused. <laughs> And I could see her as a little child that couldn't find a way to heal herself in this lifetime. So she was projecting, but she did the best that she could. And that was the beginning path of my awakening. People saw me transforming so fast. They were like, are you writing a book? Are you writing a book? Over 30 people told me, are you writing a book? It was like dun, 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 the universe is boom, banging on my head. I had to start to write. Right? And English is my third language. I failed all my English classes. <laughs> but I was finding medicine, psychedelic. Anybody, ayahuasca? Anyone's done ayahuasca here? Woo, look, take a look around. Yes. Uh, psilocybin. Raise your hand. Psilocybin. Look at her. Take a look around. Yes. Uh, 5 meo DMT. Raise your hand. Yes. Combo. Anybody heal with combo? Raise your hand. Take a look around. Yes. Breath work. Anybody heal with breath work? Take a look around. Yes. Anybody? I am affirmations. I am affirmations. Yes. Tony Robbins. Anybody here? Tony Robbins? Yes. Anybody here? Any other psychedelics? Uh, ketamine. Yes. Anybody here use writing? Writing to heal yourself. Take a look around. Yes, because writing is psychedelic on steroids. Journaling. journaling. Anybody journaling? Raise your hand. Yes. Anybody tantra, sexuality, physical body release? Raise your hands. Yes. This is love. <laughs> right? So I started to write. And something really magical happened when you surrender to what is, what's supposed to happen. And when you start writing, you start connecting all the dots. And three years into the writing, I had this download 
Oh my God, my mom died so I could live. She couldn't find a way to heal herself, so she was projecting her whole life. So she was like, I'm getting out of the way so you can heal yourself. Now, if that's not love from a mother, I don't know what is. And it might just be my download, my idea, but it made me feel that she loved me so much. And this is what I found through the writing through the modalities, the psychedelics, the breath work, the human design, the jinkies, that love through forgiveness practices, the connection to all things, the realization that mother is here now in all of us, in a tree, in a plant, that we were never separate. The physical body separation, all this is an illusion. 0.0001% is physical. Everything else is vibrating around us, wanting us to live with our heart wide open, showing us the way. All the struggles are showing us how to come back home. So today we're coming home. Who wants to go home today? Woo! Who's ready to do whatever it takes? Woo! Yes, to live fully expressed because we're all one heart. We all have a mission. We all have a purpose, an expression, a story inside of us that is not replicatable because there isn't another one like you. There isn't an example of you because it's never existed before. Your life is 4.5 billion years in the making. You have come here because you said, I am ready. Who's ready? Yes! You've come here because you said, I know I'm a piece of the puzzle to this unconditional love of heart, and I'm gonna play full out because I'm given a breath. Say yes! Yes! Because every day is an opportunity to break through all limitations, all beliefs, and forcefully do it through the body. This is what Jenkins Human Design explains. Zero to seven is our physical body. When we go into tantric practices, we are breaking down physically the energy that is stuck in the body. We have three bodies. We have physical, we have emotional, eight to 14. We have mental. Okay, when you work on physical, this is the whole fucking world. You're working on everything because you're getting to the root. Okay, and human, who here knows human design? More than, more than one year, more than two years, more than three years, nice thing, more than four years, more than four years human design. Okay, cool. Anyone else? Okay. Jinkies, who here knows Jinkies? One year, two year, three year, four year, five year. Awesome. Life changing, right? For those who don't know, it puts a lot of studies together astrology, astronomy, chakras, quantum mechanics, biochemistry, Kabbalistic tradition, tree of life, biogenetics. <laughs> and it explains to you the alignment of the stars at the very point of conception, at the very specific location. We have access to information like this to understand how our energy moves through time space, that we don't have to do this alone, that we have come here to co-create Human design explains which part of the body to make decisions from. What other energies you need in order to co-create. So life can be easy together. Who here wants an easier life? Say yeah. 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 <laughs> so we got to start proving to ourselves that we can do it all ourselves. Because that's not why we came here. Right? We have nothing to prove. Okay, so today, ha 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 ha, who here did the DMT breath work earlier? Yeah, cool, so I guess a few people didn't, so we're gonna do it together. But before we do it, if I don't have enough of these, will, will some, somebody find more? All right, these are 
blindfolds. Everybody gets a blindfold. Today we're gonna let go of uh, the illusion of separation. Our eyes. Who here is, is okay with uh, being blindfolded and doing exercise dance, do some breath work, partner work? Everyone's okay with that? Okay. Because everything is energy, vibration, frequency. This is why Tantra, it doesn't matter if you work with men, woman, 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 child, man, child, doesn't matter, it's energy. When I learned this exercise, we were all dancing blindfolded, and I find myself next to this being, I didn't know if it was a man or a woman, but I'm like, whoa, what is this energy? And then I opened my eyes, well, they, they were like, remove the blindfold, and this lady looks 90% like my mother. <sighs> Energy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of blindfolded breath work. Then we're gonna get up and we're gonna dance. We're gonna feel the space. Then we're gonna start magnetizing to each other, energy-based, okay? If you're not okay doing this whole thing blindfolded, raise your hand. Okay, I, I welcome you to participate as much as you can. Let the energy, let your body lead. Okay, if you really can't, you can't. Okay, so then when you choose the energy, because you're gonna be blindfolded, you'll sit next to each other. So first we're gonna breathe. Then we're gonna get up and move around slowly. And then feel energy, okay. dance a little, okay, sit down with this new energy we're feeling. And I'm sorry if there are couples here. I do apologize, but not really. <laughs> For the next exercise, you guys can switch. But then we will, we will do an exercise I call, when we sit next to each other, visualizing, because you're blindfolded. It would be one person at a time. And you're going to visualize that this, you're healing with your intention, this person's karma stories. This is a stranger. You've never seen them. But you've set this intention one at a time. You're going to visualize that the arm is the ocean, the sea is the land. But maybe this person maybe has fantasies of freedom to travel the world. You'll visualize all these things with your intention for this person. And either whisper or just use your body or harder. Just trust yourself. Everybody okay being touched? Yes? Okay, if you're not okay being touched, raise your hand. I swear, I won't tell. You're not okay being touched? Or were you kidding? No? Okay. Do you want to work with, is anyone else not okay being touched? Okay, go with her, perfect, great. Everybody else is okay being touched? And you can always say, hey, this makes me uncomfortable. Or maybe you can think, do I want to breathe through this? Or maybe you can ask, hey, would you like me to go a little deeper? Hey, can I go this way? Because the fact is, when we're touched in certain ways or somebody says something, it could trigger. Do we stop the transformation or do we let it happen? Do we communicate? So this is your space to explore that, okay? Does anyone have any questions? So DMT, re review. DMT breath work real quick, literally just gonna be like five to 10 minutes. Get up, dance, blindfolded. Everything's gonna be blindfolded. <laughs> Get up, dance slowly, walk, mingle, meet energies, sit down, and then we're gonna go into the exercise. This is the introduction. The second half of the class is gonna be advanced. <laughs> but some people get a lot out of this. Who here is ready to play full out? Say yes. Yeah. Yes. All right, so blindfolds on. If you don't have your blindfold, you have gotta put on? There's more under the table. No, I already gave them up. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. So, somebody didn't want to be touched. And I said I would volunteer to be with her. Okay. Oh, I'm fine. Okay. Okay. All right, start taking deep breaths.
and make some space around you. If you want to lay down, you can lay down. This is going to be a quick into DMT because we have a lot to do. You can lay down, you can sit up, however, you, whatever you want. Just make sure that you go deep with me fast, okay? Because we've got a lot of fun stuff to do. Take a deep breath.
cervix take a deep breath inhale pull it up pull it up squeeze. pull it up squeeze your, sex organs. squeeze your sex organs and hold for as long as you can take your awareness to your third eye take your awareness to your third eye Squeeze and keep holding. Pop that, pop. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Start moving around slowly. I love you. And maybe start stretching, stretching on the floor. Uh, wiggling, I am wiggling you. your toes, your hands, whatever you need. You are precious. To slowly either start on the floor or start getting that. up. Whatever feels right. Thank you for being. Stretch, move, feel the space. I Start feeling the space, your inner child, the love. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I wanna be, I wanna be 
best version of me Let's go, let's ride the wave We can be, we wanna be We can be whatever we wanna be I wanna be, you wanna be There are absolutely no limits What we could be, what we could be Just take my hand, I wanna be I wanna, I wanna, I wanna be We didn't come here to do this alone Take my hand, let's go home
I want to let go of um, grief and fruit my art and share it with the world. Okay, she wants to let go of grief and share her art with the world. Are you currently sharing your art with the world? Very tiny. And what's stopping you from sharing the art with the world? which is our expression, it's our story. And the way that it, that story healed us is what's happening inside of another person's body when they're looking at it. Whoa. Sometimes it's easier to stay in artist mode because that's what we revert to all the time because that's safe and familiar. But true success comes from service. From knowing that we have created something for something for, for so much bigger than ourselves. It's the next step of evolution to understand that we healed ourselves and now it's time to be of service. The service is love. Service is power. Service is influence. Service is transformation. Fear gets in the way of being of service because we always revert back to artists thinking we need more healing to do. Healing will never stop. And when we become of service to other people, we heal even faster. It's this magic that happens. It's like stepping into an entrepreneur role now. And it takes three to be successful. The artist, the entrepreneur, and the systems person, manager. A lot of people have a hard time stepping into, into a different role because they think that they're not good enough. But in reality, the healing will never end. You see what I mean? There's no such thing as I'm healed enough. But when people are recognizing it, that means that the student, which you were, you have become a teacher now. You'll always be a student, but now you're also a teacher. In your art, you are teaching them how to feel, how to tune into that part of the self how to heal that part of themselves that you have been working on you. The mind has over 70% negative thoughts every single day. No matter how big of a guru you are, that's just how it is. There's 50 trillion, 50 trillion cells in this body and they're all programmed to go back into the safety, safety zone, into the artist, more and more and more healing. And we can, by our free choice, will, to choose, no, I'm going to step outside my comfort zone today, and I'm going to do this thing I'm uncomfortable doing. 
for and for other people. Because I know that's going to lead me down to other path that is more transformational than I can do on my own. Because I'm now of service. The grief is part of a given emotion. Shame, not good enough, wanting things to happen faster. But we don't have to keep giving attention to the things we already know and recognize that we're part of ourselves. Now it's about where we're going. Because if we keep repeating the same story, oh, I'm still there, I'm still there. And we keep repeating it, the cells are multiplying. It's not about where we are, it's about where you are going. Because it's always about now, 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 now. It's like, okay, I was in grief. Can I shift into acceptance now? And start repeating, I accept this, I accept this, I accept this. I know I'm uncomfortable, I'm stepping into discomfort, this is where my growth is, I know, I know, I know. Does that answer your question? My question is, how do I Deal with fear. Do you like to try it around? Shut up tomorrow. Feel fear to be myself. To go out there in the world and before the end. Step into my uh what sh should I be, you know? That one and uh, I feel that I, uh, I'm at that step, I'm at that point. Step up. And she is stepping up. Do you care what people think, or is it your own voice? My own voice. Own voice. Yeah. Here. False evidence of being real. Faith and fear are two sides of the same coin. When we were born here, we were to be seen. Wait, wait, wait. Our memory has wiped clean to the power that's inside of us. And in this lifetime, every single person comes in with fear. To overcome fear, you first have to understand that what you are experiencing is collective. It isn't that one person has fear and the other person doesn't be afraid. It's just the other person has found tools and implemented them to create a vision, to go towards something bigger than themselves, to break through the boundaries, to continue to do the daily rituals, to reprogram the old patterns. Every single person has fear, and the only way to overcome it is with faith, discipline, higher vision, Daily, daily, daily rituals, because we are all patterns. The water inside of our body stores all the information that's ever existed. We're a DNA moving to great space. Okay? And over 70% negative thoughts, 50 trillion cells, you have to combat that are fighting against your faith, against your freedom. You have a lot of work to reprogram. You don't actually overcome fear, because fear will never be overcome. But you learn the tools to keep moving forward by having this higher vision, that creates this vision. It's like, okay, how am I going to express myself? Okay, how am I going to be of a bigger impact to humanity? You turn into it. And I've got courses for that. And then whatever starts coming in, most of the time, it's like your inner child wanted to do something that you stop yourself from believing that you can. Because maybe somebody told you you can't make money doing it. Or you talk yourself out of, out of it before you even started trying. 
Like how many how many of your top controls out of before, before they even start trying because you think you can't make any money doing it? Or the negative self sabotage that's like, oh but I've already tried five times. How many of you have tried five times and then give up? How many of you have tried a hundred times and then give up? How many of you have tried and never gave up? Yes. Yes. Because the truth is, every possibility already exists right here, right now. And what you do when you create a clear vision, and human design helps with this, how you manifest, is that you have a destination to go to work. When you have a destination, it's like going to Whole Foods or whatever. You don't just go, I'm trying to get to a grocery store. You just put the GPS coordinates to the navigation system, and no matter how many detours are on the way, you still get there. Right? How is our body different than that? If you don't have a destination, how are you going to break through all the limitations and recognize your path, the journey, and how far you've come? You don't have that clear vision, you're aimlessly drifting. The clarity comes power, because clarity comes belief. And once you have belief, no one will take it away from you. You know how many times the KFC guy has asked for investments in his 60s? Who, who can hear me? Yes, how many times he got a no? before he got a yes. 160? More. How many? 300? More. 500? More. More no's he got the KFC guy. How many? More. He got 1,029 no's before he got a yes. Can you be that strong? Create a vision and no matter what, keep going toward it. Because every reality exists. When somebody says no to your vision, it's either they're not a vibrational match, so you don't want to work with them anyways, or two, you haven't learned to believe. And then, if I can have you start breathing. Can everybody start breathing with her?
breathe through the pain and let whatever the body wants to do, do. <sighs> First it felt good and then it started to really like feel some pressure and this is really interesting when you did it here because I'm holding a lot of pressure in here a lot of time and when you were pushing it also and I, I told you I was like oh less and you were like keep going and I'm like and then there was a moment when it was relaxing and then you moved on to this one and this was like so painful but then like going with it and I wanted you to stop but it went like with it and it went through my whole body and it was just yeah, I don't know what I experienced, but it was great. <laughs> yeah, give it that. Thank you. So sometimes they're shaking, sometimes there's crying, sometimes there's screaming, sometimes there's nothing, but she's experiencing it in her body. You know? Each person is different. So anybody have any questions before we do this? Yeah? Where do you start? Where do you start? Uh -huh. So. We're gonna do the DMT breath work, so choose who's gonna be the first one. The first person lays down. Any, anybody not have a partner? Anybody, anybody need a partner? Everyone's good? Okay. Huh? Okay, everybody has a partner? Okay, partner one, lay down. Well, if anybody needs a sip of water, this will be a really good time. Masha, you need a partner? Oh, you got a partner? Okay, either way. All right. Okay, Masha, you want this? Do you want this? You want this? Yeah? Okay, any, anybody need this? Okay. Uh, everybody who's here, who's here with a couple, let's, let's try to keep it somewhat PG, okay? Just so I don't get in trouble too much. Because <laughs> I know there's kids. Somewhat PG, okay? All right, all right. Aram. So... Where do you start? One of the people is gonna be breathing. There's, so there's trigger point chart. One of the people is gonna be breathing. And the other person is gonna choose the point or ask, is there some area you want me to push on? Because maybe so, sometimes people know intuitively where they want it. Well, we wanna get to. You can communicate if you want it hard or easy today. But if you're ready to break through, I, I encourage you to break through. Any other questions? Yep. Yeah. We are doing the same people. It's the into the nose and out of the mouth. So it's a fire. Like visualize a circle. Yeah. Yeah, other questions? Okay, show a few points. Look over here if you still want a few points. There's an area that's in between the rib, the ribs underneath the chest. And if you have nails, maybe you use, a, use your so two, fi two fingers, yeah. And you feel that area right in the middle. And you push hard. Harder than you think. Maybe even with the other hand while she's DMT breathing. Okay? Sometimes the person may say, like, stop, stop, stop. See if you can breathe through it. If you really can't, after say after two, three stops, stop. Okay. And here in the groin. Okay, everybody, groin, groin. Try to try to feel some of the groin if it's okay with your partner. Feel this little groin area and let the person who's on the floor maneuver to where the groin is. Okay. And just remember, this is not sexual. It doesn't matter if it's guy, girl. Not the heart, pushing on the heart, you can do that. Okay, so the third eye. Use your intuition, yeah. Anybody else have any questions? Questions? Going once? 
Oh, there's another whip here. If somebody wants to do something gentle, like like if the guy if the person's blindfolded and maybe they want something gentle, you can go. Use use sensation. So you use your intuition. Like, are we doing trigger today or communicate to each other? Or are we just doing sensation? Anybody want to try that whip? There's another one in the front. Cool. Great. Any other questions? Yeah? No? Okay, great. All right. Let's start breathing. The person on the floor, so wait. For the second person that's about to work on them, don't touch them. Let's start breathing first, okay? <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
from the fire breathing but I was just spinning like my head was spinning I wasn't even ready to sit down and work on him just yet it took me a bit to really ground I know I, I wish we had more time but I, I I just got in trouble for not finishing on time I'm sorry like sometimes the flow just takes over and it's just like Good to get in trouble. That, like breaking the rules is how you. I wanted to give everybody more time, but that's just what. <laughs> we don't have a choice. They were doing like silent meditation there. <laughs> Oops. But we literally went like five minutes. But yeah, I always wish we had more time. This is why I, I I do private events here as well, full day events, so you can connect with me and I'll let you know what group we do a full day of this with ecstatic dance. This was basically a full day. <laughs> I haven't left the cellar in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Who was, anybody else wants to Thank you so much. Give her a hand. I turned it off. I turned it down, so hopefully it works. Anybody else want to share their experience? They should be, so okay, that's way too soft. I look at, I'm the tech engineer too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check, check. Yep, that's good. Thank you. I felt I really the amount of pain was perfect, so thank you for that. <laughs> um, I felt, and in the end, I have a really tight chest and a lot of scar tissue in here. And after she was pushing on my chest, the spot that I directed to her, her to, my arm started. Uh, like waving inside, my muscles were pulsing and uh, I don't know, actually lost the word that was describing it perfectly before. But it was kind of flailing inside and then I felt it go all the way down my arm and a little bit of relief and then high, of course. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Check, yes, it's on. Yeah, it's on. So this is the... Miraculous healing happens when the right person says yes to being at the right place at the right time. And people call it a miracle. But it takes two people, right? It takes a person to be a delight, doing what they love, not in their head, but out doing their service part. And it takes the participant to come and say, I'm gonna follow my intuition to go to this event. And this is how miraculous healing happens. Because this is exactly what the person needs. The frequency, the vibration, the movement, the sounds, all the people here to come back into alignment and wholeness. That's miraculous healing. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else want to share? Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Um, so I just want to say I admire you and I'm so glad that I met you suddenly in a miraculous way at the right moment in the right place in the right time and this was an out of body out of world experience for me 
and for us, I feel, as a couple, and the amount of energy and, and vibration, I like, I am still so charged, it's even hard for me to find words. And thank you, thank you, thank you for doing this. Thank all of you, and thank you. Yeah, thank you. It doesn't have to be a positive thing. It could be anything, anything if you want to share. It's up to you. Unless everyone's good. You want to share? Oh, pass that along. Oh, thank you. Uh, I just want to feel my experience in general when touching other people or f f having people close to me. And I've, lately I've been discovered I have this like energy, this fire that's in my stomach. And I feel it has a lot of life in it. And it's like wild and I'm trying to tame it down. Uh, and it only t calms when I'm touching another person, when I'm giving a massage or uh, working on her, for, for example. I was trying to find her connection points. and. As I went from the bottom up, I just felt that most of her energy was here, here her face. Mm. It was calling me, so I, I kind of stayed there and worked with her and tried to connect with her first. So uh, before I started, I had felt that I needed to hold, hold her hand so she can energetically know me first, mm. feel my energy. Did it work? Yeah. Look at how in, uh, our inner being, one consciousness, is always communicating. Mm -hmm. So he trusted that. He was like, she needs to connect. All right, I'm going to hold her hand. Yeah, how was that? Yeah. Good yeah. job, by the way. Come on. Yeah, I was first very scared because I experienced sexual abuse by a man. So for me, a man touching me. So that's why I told him, please be gentle. <laughs> And so when he was holding my hand, that was actually when I was like, okay, I'm safe. And then he worked up my body and was, it felt okay. And then he came to my ear and I had an experience. I was asking him, when you were in my ear, did you also touch my body? Because I felt like hands on my body, but he said no. So he was like in my ear and I felt like hands on my body, but he didn't touch my body. So I was like, I don't know what this is, but it felt so good. It's, yeah. Maybe you can explain because I, I asked him, did you touch me then? He was like, no. I was like, oh. But yeah, thank you for very safe. Ah, gotcha. Very healing. Beautiful. Thank you for being open to this. Yes. You feel like this is helping you heal some of the past trauma and kind of let go and yes. support you? And also having a man touching me with out having a sexual intention with like, okay, I want to like, I'm your brother and I'm, you're safe. I'm not gonna do anything to you. That was very um, opening for me, freeing. Thank you. Because when you look at the shape of the ear, what do you see? I felt that. The wall, right? place in the body. Our ear, our hearing is more powerful than our sensory perception. We can hear a lot more than we can see. And all the little parts of the ear are connected to the little parts of the body. This is why the ear can take people into such a different dimension. And they just know, she goes, if it takes you on a DMT experience, take the ear. And you can do this with Guy, girl, 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 guy, it doesn't matter. As long as you set the intention, right? Intention is everything. We are here to heal each other, okay? Speak like that. Or if you're in a partnership relationship, communicate what you need. I want you to be my sister today. I want you to be my brother today. I want you to be, can you do this for me? Because when we communicate our needs, what happens? We're free. And energy play is so amazing. Sexuality is so much better after you've helped each other energetically, isn't it? Because you've opened your heart, because you became vulnerable, because you communicate. Right? If you go straight to 
penetration, you're using each other as a cum dumpster, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I hope you can pass that along to everybody out there who thinks that sex, sex is straight up penetration and then whoever's partner gets upset that they're not sexual enough or whatever. Sex is everything. Sex is touch, love, be helping each other be a father, a child, a mother, communicating needs, vulnerability, right? We are the change, each and every one of you here. Have a higher vision for people. Don't let them stay in abusive relationships or, you know, sabotage themselves or keep letting old stories play out. Have that higher vision for people. Because how many people does somebody really need in order to learn to believe in themselves? How many? One. Right? Raise your hand. One. Only one person. Now say, can you be the person that believes? Can you be the person that believes? Can you be the person that believes? Say, yes, I can. Yes, yes I, I can. can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. No matter how crazy the dream is, people just need one person to say, yes, you can. You want to be in the next Google? Yes, you can. It doesn't matter how outrageous it is. Just one, be the one. Right? You're here for that reason, to be the one. Anybody else want to share? By the way, that's a good explanation for orgasm I call it orgasm but you can call it whatever you want. Can you pass the mic Yeah, yeah. So let's give it for Dasha for his time. That was amazing. So, 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 so good. For, for me, the, the height of all of that was an expression of rage and power. And, and this changing of the times, there's a lot of very difficult, horrible things happening in the world. There's a lot of things that having a divine balance of anger and acceptance for is something that I work on really, uh, really intently. There's a lot of terrible things happening that we're aware of and it's, it's not nice to think about them and it's difficult to be activated by them. But an intention that I set that may serve for you as well is allowing those weights to be the strengths, the, the, those weights to be the things that strengthen us and our own emotional dysfunctions and the terrible things happening around the world and allowing that, that feeling of this is wrong, like this can't go on, this needs to change. And my intention is to be a change agent in a peaceful and positive way, but there's, a, there's, there's depth of feeling there that, that can really accelerate us towards positive change that, that shouldn't be blocked out either. So here's to us all being powerful. Anybody else? That's it, we're good? I want to thank you all, really. From my heart, from the belly, eight months. <laughs> that you. circumstances because remember the time is never right but it's always right you don't need to be in front of your desk and every all the conditions have to be right to create your dream life okay and it's always gonna just turn out just the way it's supposed to do you understand what I'm saying so you can't plan oh when I have every all the variables exactly right the desk like this like this, like that, and the camera like this, then I'm gonna share my truth and message because the environment is gonna be right. Then I'm gonna help this person because it's gonna be just perfect. It's never gonna be like that. Ever. So you just let that go. Oh, I have to have my perfect uh, look on. I have to have my perfect makeup. Nobody wants you to be perfect. They just want you to be you. 
And the more you practice sharing your story, your message, the sooner it will resonate with your soul tribe in your chosen expression, and they will come because they've been looking for you. But you gotta make a decision to show up. Makeup, no makeup. Cute clothes on, no cute clothes on. Lamborghini or no car, it doesn't matter. Show up. See, I didn't feel like showing up today, and I'm showing up. Maybe one person will see it, and for that one person, you could have just changed their life. Huh? You never know who's watching, who's listening, who needed to hear or see the one thing that you felt inspired to share because it came straight from your heart, straight from source, and you trusted it, you just did it. And sometimes it doesn't happen right away that people notice. Sometimes I have videos that are from three years ago, from five years ago, that somebody saw and they're like, oh, whoa. And I was like, that was five years ago. And they just ran across that, and that's what changed their life. Don't look at followers. Focus on this one person, like I did while writing the book, who's still in the dark, because you may have one key that they need. You don't need to have all 100 keys, okay? They may need one sentence, one word, one expression, one painting, one song, one poem, one offer. They don't need them all. They just need one little thing that you have that helps them bridge the gap. Do you understand what I'm saying? They just need to see you be vulnerable in one, one sentence and say, I'm here to serve, I'm here to help. If I can do it, so can you. And no, I'm not perfect. But today's the day I really felt inspired to get on this live and be like, you know what, I wanna wear my heart on my sleeve because I know that tomorrow is not guaranteed. So today I'm making it all my God. Because I only have today and tomorrow is another today. Now, 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 now. And I know if anything ever happens that today I lived it because I shared it. Because I cried it. And I was like, I trusted myself and I just did it. You know? So that way, Jackson has a workshop tomorrow at the end. With no regrets, or what the number one regret with you on your deathbed. So that way, if you live every day, come to the workshop. It's amazing. 5, 5.30. And, and, and how to avoid that great regret. And, and how, how to, to be avoid that great regret. And how to be yes. here with passion. Make sure our life is a testimony yes. to this epic soul that we are. Right. That's, that, that's what we're going to close with. So. Yes. And this I is, this is every start. day. You don't have to be like, okay, I'm not doing something big so it doesn't make a difference. If you smiled at a person and it changed their day, you did it. If you got out of your own head because you had an agenda and a to-do thing and go, 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 and you were in a grocery store and you were like, you know what, I'm gonna get out of my head and I'm gonna smile and I'm gonna say hi to a few people. And suddenly you see that person smiling back at you. You did it for that day. Right? It doesn't take a lot to change someone's life. One at a time. Okay? And I'm here to support you on the journey. I've got courses, I've got books in the back, and three coffees left. They're you fantastic. Guys, They're I fantastic. Dive in the dark. <laughs> it's epic. I, promise. I, I do privates, I do groups, I do one on ones. Just say yes. If I'm the energy that you need, just say yes to your dream and let a projector, I'm a projector, so I amplify people's energies. <laughs> so if you're good, like if your heart is in the right place, I'll help you 10x, 100x that goodness and bridge that gap. You don't have to do this alone. Okay? So there's a scan code if you want to book an appointment, 15 minutes, to see if we can go to a 60 minutes, and then I can offer you, by the end of the 60 minutes, a complimentary, three, nothing, because I don't know if I can help you without knowing everything that you want, what you want, what you desire, what's your why, what's your bigger vision. When I know these things, because it's a psychological process, like if the book wants to write itself, the business, the money, then at the end I can be like, okay, here's how I can help you bridge the gap for somebody that can't. But without knowing all that, remember how amazing you are? 
how delicious you are. Smile at people, love people harder than you've ever loved before. I've come here for you, but you also came here for me. So I appreciate you so much, and I love you, and have the most incredible rest of your festival, okay? I'll stay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you have any questions, any comments, if you want to come give me a hug. Oh, you guys want to do that? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Jackson, she wants you to leave the energy, thank you. Yes. Send Ender, send energy. Okay, okay, let's tap into our, these amazing wide open chakras, this incredible field we've been in touch with. Let's bring this power into our bodies. Bring those hands together, one, two, three. And send that power and love over to Dasha right now. Let her feel it, baby. And let the baby feel it too. <laughs> love you, Dasha. Love you, Dasha. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.